That's the voice and music of Daryl Clinton. And we are about to begin the next edition. I believe we're at 14 or 15, my goodness, shows of the Florida Keys Real Estate. No, that's not the Florida. It's not the Florida Keys Real Estate Show. It's the Florida Keys Live Music Update. I'm so lost. Jenny uh, No Shoes is not with me right now. She'll be joining us in just a little while, and I'm lost as can be. As I said, the local live music report here in the Florida Keys is every Wednesday at noon right here in the Florida Keys studios of Radio A1A. We are also broadcasting live and indecent, that's right, living color, to um, the world of Facebook and Restream and YouTube and everywhere you can imagine. And I'm Harry T. And you're listening uh, to a Radio A1A broadcast being simulcast on Cruising Country Radio. All country, all original, all the time. Our sister station and, of course, our keys. Little keys jewel down here is called Keys FM. Just good music. And, of course, our folks in the inspirational world, Paradise Road Radio. I'm Harry T. Good to see you, everyone. It's so confusing. We... Uh, we have such a huge event coming up tomorrow night, Thursday night, at the Elks Lodge in Tavernier, Florida, which is between Isla Mirada and Key Largo, is the Ocean Dreams Healing Center inaugural first annual fundraiser beginning about 4 p.m. in the afternoon with Jenna Lee Bichet's leading us off with some music and of course, all night long featuring musicians. And I'll let I will let our stage manager, Dave Roush, bring you up to date on all that's happening there. And what's happening from Terry at Ocean Dreams. Lots of good stuff. Also, we're going to be featuring some of the things that are happening in the world of the parrot heads. And all of them are flocking the end of October, first of November, down here to the Keys. We're going to have some locations for them to be able to enjoy themselves with a cocktail, a little something to eat, some great Florida Keys weather and facilities, and also some independent artists in the tropical music world, the songwriters, singing their songs right there on the stage. And a lot of them will be uh, traveling down following the flock. And that follow the flock is PH for Parrothead, O L L O W, the P H L O C K. And they culminate in Key West. And we've got a special event to announce today, uh, event to announce today about a welcome to Key West party for the tropical music industry workers. Whoa, something new. Yes. Today, um, I'm going to begin uh, the first um, introduction by saying thank you to uh, Jenny uh, Shoeless Newman for being at my side. I'm going to see if I can buzz her up and see if we can do a little intro here. And um, we will bring uh, her on the air, and she always gives us our rundown on what's going on in the Florida Keys. Jenny, no shoes, shoeless. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Newman, you're in Key Largo. What's happening today, girl? Um, it's it's beautiful in paradise. Here I am. Uh, kind of catching me with my with my shoes off here. <laughs> well, don't tell us about anything else, but because because we do have some uh, guys mm -hmm. that would be very interested in see, in seeing that, and they will be seeing you in Cape Coral, won't they? Cape Coral. Shoeless will be there at the Southwest Florida Parrothead Club's uh, pit stop party right there at the Dolphin Key Giant Tiki and Resort. Uh, Jenny, what's happening in the world of music? Just briefly, and we'll we'll come back to that later in the show with a complete rundown. But what's happening uh, that in your world 
uh, from uh, Key West to uh, Key Largo and Homestead, uh, Florida City, in the world of live music. Oh, uh, let's see. I got to pull up my notes here. I've been busy preparing for um, Havana Jack this week. Is doing Oktoberfest, and that is down in Key Colony Beach in Marathon. Uh, that it's, it's going to be. I'll be there tonight with the Lady A band. Will you be in your uh, leader hosen, like showing on the screen right now? Oh, you're showing my leader hosen. <laughs> I can't. I can't see. I, I, but you're wearing I shoes it. with leader hosen. You're not shoeless there. You're leader hosen, Jenny. Well, I I don't really care for the slippers. I like to just go with leader hosen and no shoes. It's much uh, more comfortable. I see. I see. But uh, Havana Jackson, Key Colony Beach, and Marathon. Uh, Lady A band tonight is six to ten, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday they're doing an Oktoberfest with uh, Bratwurst and Sarah Broughton and all that great stuff. And that's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I believe the music from five to nine. I'm sure all that food will be there. Schnitzel day and night. Schnitzel, yes, yes. I don't have the um, the menu list. Oh, but wow! They're they're doing all of the the classic German food that you would expect to have at Oktoberfest. Ah, oh, wie heißen sie? Ah, danke, es geht mir gut. Ja. Oh, Wunderbar. You know. Wunderbar. Well, I know enough German to ask a voice dame Toilette. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can imagine what that is. <laughs> or dare, dare Toilette. I never get my dames and dares right. <laughs> I'm out of my mind today because it is only about a week before we kick off Follow the Flock and only a day before we kick off the Ocean Dreams inaugural fundraiser, man, fun, F-U-N, and F-U-N-D also. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of stuff going on next week. Um, Thursday, particularly, is, is just jam-packed. You know, that's, um, that is jam-packed. Uh, there are, th- your, your um, famous karaoke at the Key Largo Moose, Jenny's Karaoke, <laughs> well, if, as a matter of fact, you're drawing crowds. What's happening up there? It gets a little crazy sometimes. Um, the fun little karaoke at the Key Largo Moose at 7 to 10 on Thursday night. But this week we also have, running concurrently, um, if, you, if you were driving down, you could stop at my karaoke from 7 to 10. Uh, you can go to Art Walk, which is uh, down in uh, Pasta's Gallery, down there in Milo Pasta Rock. Pentaleo, <laughs> one of the finest that artists. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> To nine and Tony and Gigi and Taylor King Band will be playing at Blue Marlin stage. Um, that's going to be a hoot. And then it, right in the middle of all that is the benefit that's going to be at the Tavern of Elk. Um, tell us about that, Harry. That's uh, I, I really haven't had the time to be in, involved in the planning of that. But God, we got a, a, a really full boat of musicians playing from is it four to ten o'clock. Uh, it is from 4 to 10, and some great musicians. We'll have a report directly from that event coming up later in the show, but I can just tell you this. There's going to be some great food. There's going to be some great cocktails. There's going to be some great music. Jenny Lee Bichet kicks it off. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, <laughs> how cool is that? <laughs> well, Rusty Preston, too. Is going to be there. So, and, and you know how I feel about Rusty. Rusty is probably one of the better uh, one-on-one in, entertainers in the keys. He really is. Yeah, he's good. Well, let's let's uh, uh, see if we can't move along with a couple of commercials here, if you don't mind, Madame. I will join you later in the show. If and uh, you uh, are doing a great job out there, and get those feet ready to pad all the way up to Cape Coral next Sunday. No, it's not this I'm- Sunday. It's next Sunday. I'm going north, and I'm going barefoot. <laughs> well, it's going to be fun. Parrotheads loved you in Delray Beach when we went to the uh, Buffett concert up there for four days. They are going to be mobbing you for your autograph when they come down to the Keys uh, for Follow the Flock. So we'll be right back in just a moment. This is a good friend of mine, Victor Figueroa. And if you're coming to the Keys, friends and neighbors, for any reason, Keep this information handy, because when you lose your phone, you've lost most everything that's going to help you enjoy the keys, and this guy will fix it for you on the fly. You know, they may be called smartphones, but they are handled by regular folks like you and me. 
and we break things. Well, no more freaking out about breaking your smartphone because Key Smartphone Repair is here. Just click or call keysmartphonerepair.com. That's keysmartphonerepair.com. KeySmartphoneRepair.com. It's fast, professional smartphone and tablet repair located in Tavernier, mile marker 90. KeysSmartphoneRepair.com. Click it now and save. We'd also like to invite everyone to please go to our Patreon page and support uh, our, you know, our support it financially what we're doing here uh the uh radio business has met on some hard times with uh, all of the things that are going on but now we're coming back and we could use your support to make sure that the uh, airwaves are full of the best music in the world music for the road to paradise uh and all of our affiliates country inspirational and just good music on keys fm my name's Harry T. That's what they call me. I've been called other things, but usually I was uh, on my way to dinner or on my way to a fight or something. But uh, right now, I'm going to be on my way to tell you about some of the most wonderful things that are happening in the Florida Keys. And I'm going to do that with music and with some of the folks that are coming down to the Keys. Uh, a fellow by the name of Eric Stone is with us and uh, are is going to be with us during music excuse me follow the flock and eric has a new song and a new book and you're seeing on the screen right now a qr code to pre-order his book yeah eric chance stone back in the keys that's right vanishing waters is his book his new song just released is head over heels Eric Stone.
Eric will be appearing at 5 to 6 p.m., 6 o'clock probably, at our Wednesday. Follow the Flock Pit Stop at Coconut Cove Resort and Marina at the 84-mile marker, Isla Morada. Eric Stone. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have on the phone a gentleman that has been a good friend of mine for quite a few years, a fellow Shriner uh, and helping the Shriners Hospitals for Children. And now, old D.C. is on the phone, I do believe. Are you there, old D.C.? I'm here, Harry. How are you today? Wow. You are you are traveling uh, the world for what we are doing here, aren't you, Dale? Yeah, it's it's been a busy week, busy month. I uh, just landed in Orlando. Going to be working a few logistics over here for the next day or two, and then uh, back to uh, Kentucky to get ready for uh, ten days in the Keys. You s- just stepped off of a plane, uh, and and you're on your way to order a giant uh, touring motorhome for all of us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, <laughs> I'm gonna put your I'm gonna put your name right next to mine on that bottom line. Oh boy, I tell you what, I'll co-sign with you, buddy. I don't know if it'll do you any good, but uh, uh, Dale, give us a quick rundown of the latest that's happened with our pit stop parties and how my world meds and precision sonar and uh, many of the other yeah. people that you've brought to bear to bring some really cool stuff to these pit stops. What's happening? Yeah, Harry, um, we, we've got a really nice little healthcare lineup with uh, My World Meds will be there, empowering benefits with their healthcare sharing. Uh, my friends at Precision Sonar are going to be debuting some of their products in the Keys, uh, safety items for your boat. Um, yeah, we've got a great collection of sponsors, and, and it continues to grow up. I'd encourage anybody that, that wants to be visible this year in the Keys to uh, – Get a hold of the station. We still have a couple spots left for uh, sponsors and promotions. But, uh, yeah, it's coming together great. And uh, we are uh, currently, um, my, my company, My Healthy U.S., in cooperation with one of our companies, are working with FIPS to make uh, COVID testing available down at uh, Casa Marina. Hey. And then um, at our pit stop two and three, we're also going to have COVID testing available for those that couldn't get it done, didn't get it done, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, uh, I know they'll be going official. Uh, I, I've already spoken to the powers that be. And um, the Meeting of the Minds uh, webpage will be promoting the fact that they're going to make rapid testing available um, for those folks that, that got caught to where they couldn't get their PCR or a vaccine. Wow. Uh, there will be testing available uh, Wednesday night at the pre-party. I don't know what that's about, but I guess anybody that does would. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and then also Thursday and Friday at registration, uh, right down at Casa Marina, my friends from on-site testing will be uh, providing all the testing, which will comply and uh, satisfy the uh, request of meeting on the minds in regard to your COVID status. Oh, gosh. So we're excited. Yeah, and, and we've got we've got twice as many reasons, three times as many reasons for folks to stop in on Tuesday and Wednesday at pit stop two and three. We are going to have testing available there so you don't end up in a long line down at Casa Marina. Oh, my. So we're excited. We're, we're excited. This is, uh, I think, one of the first times that uh, many of the mines has ever kind of joined forces with another event, but... Uh, it's for a common cause, and that is to keep us all safe and have a great meeting in the minds this year. Dale, I just want to say thank you, because last year it was attempted in an unofficial meeting of the minds, and a lot of people didn't come back because they got sick and died. And we don't have them with us this year. But this year, thank you to My World Meds, My Healthy U.S., and you, sir, Dale Clemens, for making it possible to have a safe trip and follow the flock. <laughs> we can't guarantee that you won't wind up inebriated and uh, full of uh, uh, the bucket wish live, uh, wish uh, list uh, to stay in the keys with us for a while. Dale, I, I, Harry, I was I was trying to talk to the administration and giving me a grant to study the effect of alcohol on COVID vaccination. <laughs> I told them I had the perfect 
I had the perfect study group. Test tube. I told him I could get a I could get a full seven day spectrum of, of the results. You know, uh, no 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 check yet, no check yet. But hey. I knew I knew that uh, our, our fellow parents could help us form that test. Oh, man, that's the voice of Dale Clemens, and uh, he is going to be having available to us at our pit stop parties a discounted, I do believe. Now, you know, we may not be able to give them away. I don't think uh, uh, you can make an appointment with CVS, and you might get your test uh, done in about five days. But these are right on site, done for you, uh, an app on a phone, a doctor's on the other end, and he goes, negative. If he goes positive, haul ass, you know, or do something. Well, I don't know what we do, but <laughs> what do we do? Well, Dan? Uh, well, fortunately, our event is outside, Harry, so we just we just tell everybody to find their own little corner. Have another drink. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, <laughs> but but needless to say, uh, it, it's interesting. I, I've worked diligently with uh, Phipps to address some of those questions mm-hmm. and. Um, you know, I, I want all of our uh, our fellow parrot heads to know that uh, they really put a lot of thought and time into this. I, I was fortunate to be able to have some input. And uh, there are questions like, well, what do you do with somebody if they test positive? Certainly. Um, you know, you, you, you can, uh, there, the reservations at Casa Marina may only be two or three days. Uh, they're going to quarantine. Uh, so there was a lot of a lot of questions to be answered. So I I applaud Phipps uh, for their diligent work. Rob Hill over there uh, wow. and, and his compadres do a great job. The last time I I was at an event was about six or seven years ago in Olympia, Washington, where Rob Hill was one of the um, planners, promoters, and a member of the Puget Sound Parrothead Club. He's also a very renowned uh, singer songwriter and producer of. Tropical Americana uh, award-winning uh, Brittany Kingery. Um, uh, so Rob is is the real jewel, man. Uh, he has taken this, and, and there's new management of FIP. There's new uh, leadership, and they are doing some things this year, introducing a, a modernization of something that had not been changed in a long time, Dale. And now they're answering specific and immediate needs of the uh, event traveling public and that what is that safe a safe event that's right a safe event. yeah they're 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 they're, um, they're corporate and um, what I say pro- promoting responsibility is, is right where it should be you know I, I'm fortunate to work with a lot of various events for uh, testing from the uh, NCAA bubble to uh, another one of my associates just did all the MTV awards. Oh my! So I, I get a I get a real good look at what's being done around the country, right. different ways. Right. And um, and, and they really they really put some time and due diligence into getting this right. So I'm excited right. about an awesome event. You and I are going to be there for two or three days, huh? We right have. Key West. They have for the first time in the history. Did I say modernization? They are issuing press passes to the working press to be there to cover it for you folks that can't be there. So, it this is historical. This is a historical event, and 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 frankly, to be able to trust uh, our wild pit stops, you know how we are. You know, <laughs> most people think yeah, people. Sometimes it gets on. It gets on, but. But to have uh, uh, the ability to pre-test so that you don't have to stand in line and wait for people to pull out their, you know, their cards or whatever, those types. You are at the airport. I am at the airport. You have to board. Dale, thank you so much. You, you're amazing, Dale Clemens. We call him Old DC. I appreciate you, Harry. Let's have a great day, and I uh, look forward to next week getting busy with some flocking. All right. Old DC, on the way to follow the flock. He's starting early, and get ready to roll your sleeves up and help us raise money for Ocean Dreams Healing Center, the Parrothead Clubs of the Upper Keys, and the Southwest Florida Parrothead Club at our pit stop parties all the way down. Dale, Old DC, thank you so much for uh, helping us with this event. Sounds good, Harry. We'll talk soon. Be See safe. You, buddy. All right, be safe. Gosh, it always makes me feel good to be involved with somebody in the uh, industry that recognizes that tropical Americana music and tropical music in general 
Gulf and Western music, whatever you want to call it. Even you can, it doesn't matter. It is one of the most feel-good musics, uh, music genres and formats in the entire world. And now, since we want to make sure that everyone is, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, exposed to that music, I'm going to give you a little introduction to exactly what's going to be going on, if I can have find all these pieces that I needed to put together here today. This is the Radio A1A broadcast of the Florida Keys Live Music Report, right here at noon every Wednesday. We love your shaker tail feathers all night long to a tropical band playing favorite songs so we get together every chance we get. This is Harry T. from Radio A1A, your flocking tour director with Precision Sonars. 2021 Follow the Flock update. The 2021 Follow the Flock Pit Stop Party Tour kicks off with a bang. Sunday, Halloween, October 31st with the Southwest Florida Parrothead Club Pit Stop Party in Cape Coral at the fabulous Dolphin Key Resort and Tiki Bar. This huge tiki bar stage is one of the most prestigious displays of tropically inclined and TV singer-songwriters hosted by the Rudy Valley of Tropical Melodies, Rudy Cox. This official Parrot Head Party with a Purpose event benefits local Alzheimer care. Monday, November the 1st, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., The Flock stops in Key Largo on A1A for the 14th annual and original MOTM, that's Meeting of the Minds Pit Stop Party, at the fabulous Caribbean Club, world-famous sponsor. Parrot Heads of the Upper Keys, P-H-U-K, use your imagination, a.k.a. Pirates on the Water. The stage will be filled with tropical singer-songwriters all day, and Radio A1A, as always, providing the live streaming of this absolutely magnificent tropical music lineup. Tuesday and Wednesday, November the 2nd and 3rd, the Radio A1A Pit Stop Party continues at Coconut Cove Resort and Marina. That's at 84801 Overseas Highway in Isla Mirada. This pit stop is a fundraiser for Ocean Healing Wellness Center in the Florida Keys and will feature unique sponsors, vendors, and an opportunity to join saltwater independent music at one of the Keys' most beautiful locations on the Atlantic Ocean, Coconut Cove Resort and Marina, a -a one-of-a-kind old-style Florida Keys Resort Hotel. Tropical music each day beginning at 11 a.m., mile marker 85 Oceanside. Sponsor. Thank you so much for tuning in to this show, and um, some of the uh, television things that I put out there are not coordinated with the radio well, so I can't hear when they end. But in this case, I wanted to show you something that arrived to the Radio A1A studios, and to feature um, this young man uh, and the folks that are so kind to send us uh Music for our sister station, Cruising Country Radio. We are going to be making sure everyone during Follow the Flock knows about Cruising Country Radio. And it, it airs on the countryside, there's no doubt about that. But it is also one of the best places to hear independent singer-songwriters like Donnie Howard. He's lost in the rum. Ah, let me see if I can get that one right there. Hey, Dave, how are you? I'm showing off uh, an album by Dennis, excuse me, Donnie Howard, that's now on uh, Cruising Country Radio. Is this Dave Roush? Roush, how are you doing, Harry? Hey, hey, I, I need to bring you up on this slider right there. It's good to see you, Dave. Yeah, good talking to you, Harry. How's the band, how's the Bluefin band doing? Bluefin band's doing great. We uh, we played the last Saturday and it went really well. Uh, yeah, we're we're getting right along. Well, sir, where are you playing uh, next, and what are you doing next in the live music while we've got you on the line? Live music this Friday. I will be doing a karaoke show at the Isla Mirada Gucci Moose. Gucci from Moose seven to ten. <laughs> Gucci Moose, yeah, seven to ten. Right. And then uh, the next the following Saturday, we'll be doing a Halloween costume party and contest at the 
Bluefin Bar and Grill, Mangrove Marina, 200 Ford Avenue from 7 to 11. Just behind Froggy's off of US 1. Just behind, yeah, Fro- yeah. And gym. Band, we're going to be the Bluefin Pirate Band Saturday. Uh oh, you're going to dress like pirates. Uh, yes, I am. Well, one of the most important reasons I ask you to check in with us today is a fundraiser, and one that it's extremely important to me because when I met Terry, the survivor of a f- stage four cancer uh, and many years of recovery, and he introduced me to his wife as well, who is a survivor of the caregiving for a stage four cancer, su- you know, person survivor, and this fundraiser is for Ocean Dreams Healing Center. And the outreach and the mission of Ocean Dreams Healing Center is for the care for the caregivers. It, it is about time. My mom is still suffering from the care she gave to my sister in a dying, you know, in, in a, well, it was, it was love, it was care, but gosh, it took it out of her. And then having, having my father pass over a two-year period. The care that is required, we we don't even know sometimes. So it goes deep to my heart, uh, and you're going to bring us up to date on exactly what's going to happen there on Thursday night. That's tomorrow night at 4 p.m. It begins, and you are the stage manager, the A1A stage manager. Tell me where, when, how. Okay, so Thursday, October 21st, 4 to 10 p.m., at the Tavernier Elks Lodge, 92600 Overseas Highway, the Ocean Dreams Center Healing, or Ocean Dreams Cancer Healing Center, along with Radio A1A and Friends, present Ocean Dreams Benefit Concert and Fundraiser. So, we're going to have lots of local talent. Starting the day at 4 p.m., we have the wonderful, lovely Jenny Lee Bichet's with her acoustic original arrangements and some beautiful cover songs. Then coming on stage after Jenny, we have a local favorite, Too Tall. Too Tall? Tom. Too Tall Tom's going to come. Too Tall Tom. And wow. you'll know, you'll know Too Tall when you see him because he's <laughs> like six, eight. Uh, he comes on stage at five. And then uh, the one, the only, the, the ever popular Rusty Preston. Can't he's, stand up about him and his country and rock. Uh, he's hitting the stage at six, and uh, be prepared for for some really good entertainment. Uh, I, I I played with Rusty, and you've played with Rusty, and Jenny, you've played with Rusty, uh, and he's just a, a a talent. I all I can say he's a talent and a showman. He's a he's the one of the uh, best single act entertainers that'll leave you entertained at the end of the night. He's the best in the keys, as far as I know. I, I I'm amazed by what he does. I'll tell you, Harry. He when I contacted him, he said, "Yeah, I'm there. I'm there." And then about five minutes later, he goes, "Oh heck, um, I've got a show on Thursday at uh, at the Grill and with Steve Vanini." And he goes, "But you know what? I'll go set it up." Then I'll come play. You got to give me this time slot. So I worked him in from 6 p.m. up until our headliner at 7. And Rusty said, man, I'm there, which is we're really thankful to have all of our local talent showing up for this thing. Uh, it's going to be really cool. Well, Dennis McGay. And then McGay- finally. Yeah, go. Yes. Finally, finally at 7 p.m., our, uh, our headliner, uh, Tropical Soul featuring Dennis McCoffey and uh, I was trying to talk to Dennis before the show and he called me literally before I I called in and I had to hang up on him so Dennis if you're listening man uh, you know I didn't mean to hang up on you but I had to come on live well, so uh, and that's pretty much uh, what I have for entertainment uh, I'll be setting up you guys uh, there uh, under the tent and and have the stage ready to rock and roll. And looking forward to everybody that can make it to come out and help this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful oh, um, event and fundraiser. Uh, I know we've all lost people. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yes. you know, this is a, it's a really, really great, great thing. Uh, Dave, 
uh, you and Jeanette have been a big part of what we do here, and I want to thank you very much. And you're going to be following the flock some with us as well. So we follow up the uh, pit stop. Excuse me. We follow up the Ocean Dreams Cancer uh, Center's um, a fundraiser with the Follow the Flock. But you are also going to be introducing a song on Thursday night that I happen to have a copy of. Would you mind, do you think I could play that? Uh, would you mind if I, I premiere it here for everyone so they'll know that there's been a song written about Ocean Dreams? And it, it pretty much sums it up. I may not be able to play it all for the purpose of time, but the entire song you will have queued up and ready to go, won't you? I will absolutely have it. Um, Harry, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for having me on the show. And go ahead. I've been there. <laughs> I think we all have, folks. I'm telling you. I'm Harry T. This is the broadcast of the Local Live Music Report right here every Wednesday at noon. And we're about halfway through. That was Dave Roush reporting to us from the uh, happenings at the Elks Lodge uh, Thursday night, 4 p.m. in Tavernier, Florida, for the Ocean Dreams Healing Fundraiser. Annual. First annual. <laughs> And now we're going to go back to featuring some of the music that will be at and along the way in our tropical um, pit stop parties on the way to Key West. But I wanted to feature something very special. I haven't had an opportunity to make up all the information that I need about this, but this uh, uh, place is gorgeous. It's in Key West. Uh, and it's probably one of the best places I've ever uh, come across to be able to do what we want to do as our official pit stop on Friday night, November the 5th. Actually, is it night when it's 4.20 in the afternoon? Hmm. But it begins at 4.20. And I'm playing a video of uh, Ocean's Edge Resort and Marina right there in Key West, Florida, right before you uh, enter uh, the uh, A1A part of Key West. And it will be the site, right by the pool, of a very, very special uh, music industry welcome to Key West party. Tropical music industry welcome to Key West party. There will be promoters. There will be musicians. There will be people that book music. There will be media. Um, this 
is going to be wonderful. And if you uh, have an opportunity uh, to taste some of their cocktails, they even have alcoholic ice cream. Uh, an ice cream bar with alcohol, I understand. And the food is uh, prepared by a local chef that we all know here in the Keys and probably one of the best, if not the best, chefs in the Keys and the management oceanfront jewel, as it says right there. It is gorgeous. And I'm proud that they uh, have uh, chosen to have A1A, our A1A family, right there by the pool. So you will know, you know how to dress. By the way, book your room. I do believe that they still have a very few rooms left. Most everything else around is booked up, and most of their rooms are booked up. But they have a special uh, a situation for our Follow the Flock people. If you want to call the Ocean's, Ocean's Edge and give them a buzz and see if they can work something out for you to work you in, they may already be out of rooms, but that's just the way it is. The uh, PHIP, uh, Dale Clemens, old DC mentioned a while ago, is... Parrot Heads in Paradise, that's the parent company of our Parrot Heads, putting on the worldwide convention of Parrot Heads, who are chartered by Jimmy Buffett's uh, Margaritaville M Enterprise, to be able to raise charitable funds for individual communities wherever a Parrot Head Club, a chartered Parrot Head Club, is located. That's what this is all about. And we are going to be continuing that all the way down to Key West. I'm Harry T. I am here uh, very proud to be with you uh, on Radio A1A. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be um, hopefully playing some music here for you shortly to uh, give you some ideas about who will be playing. And, and without further ado, there may be some ado. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's see if we can't find Darby Ledbetter. Now, Darby Ledbetter uh, is headlining the November the 3rd, no, excuse me, November the 2nd at Coconut Cove. I'll get these straight. Coconut Cove is November the 2nd and November the 3rd. Ocean Dreams Healing Center is the charity that we have established to benefit from those two days, a music festival at Coconut Cove Resort and Marina. Headlining the first day is Darby Ledbetter. Headlining the second day, I played him already. His name is Eric Stone, author and uh, 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 prolific singer-songwriter of tropical music. Spent some time in the BVI. But Darby Ledbetter's from Nashville. Hold on just a moment. Let me let him talk. Better, and you're listening to my new single, Paired Heads in Paradise, right here on Radio A1A. Crank it up. Crazy bunch of people who really love the sand Our toes in the water and a drink in our hand We love to shake our tail feathers all night long To a tropical band playing favorite songs So we get together every chance we get Hello everyone It's the pirate and life that we love the most Rum runners running up and down the coast When time gets lost Captain Morgan and a hurricane Wherever we go, wherever we are We party with a purpose underneath the stars We're living free, loving life Yeah, it's a hell of a time We're parrot heads in paradise Well, it's a full-time party drop rocking all year round we flock from coast to coast and town to town It's a guaranteed good time we wouldn't trade Wouldn't take a pot of gold for the friends we made Soaring together, flying high Yeah, cause it's a pirate life that we love the most Rum runners running up and down the coast When time gets lost, plans ain't made We sail with Captain Morgan and a hurricane Wherever we go with a purpose underneath the stars We're living free Loving life 
goodness we have those two guys uh darby ledbetter and eric stone coming and we also have probably about 50 other ones between sunday october the 31st in cape coral all the way down to sunday november the 7th in key west we're going to be covering this live and indecent mm-hmm. ain't no better way and decent uh shoeless uh that's where you come in and speaking of indecent <laughs> Here's Shoeless Newman with the Florida Keys live music update for the week. <laughs> Gosh, where did we leave off? We, uh, Friday night, we always have the Simmons Sam up in Homestead. That's not the Keys, but boy, that's a great night to go out and if you've got your guitar, go in there and play with the boys. That's at uh, 35 North Blacker Avenue up in Homestead. Uh, Skipper's Dockside Friday night, Scott Youngberg, 6 to 9. Uh, did, oh, you know what I found today? Well, what did you find, this Shula? This, this afternoon, uh, our buddy Cliff Stutt is playing at the Florida Keys Brewing Company this, this afternoon. Uh, Cliff Jazz, 5 to 8, so definitely stop in there. Cliff uh, is worth the trip, no doubt. Oh, he, he's amazing. He, he's a quote-unquote bass player, but he's, he's much more than a bass player. He's a heck of a musician. Yeah. Uh, he plays with a seven-string bass and puts on some really great jazz. So definitely check that out if you're running around today. Um, let's see, on Saturday, uh, of course, we have CJ at Sundowners. Cody James and the Key Billies is Saturday evening. That starts at 9 o'clock for your late-night entertainment. That is a late-night uh, dive bar. Late-night dive bar, yeah. Baby, that's right a good... Water. You, you can go by boat. You can also go by boat uh, next door at the Caribbean Club. We've got the Summer Glen Band. That plays uh, 6.30 to 9.30. And also by boat, uh, if you want to go a little further south, Bayside Grill, you can go catch Steve Benini from 6 to 9. That's all Friday night. Uh, Saturday night, I'm sorry. Uh, Sunday night. I do not have who is playing at the crib this week, but um, it has been uh, Abstract Radio has been playing there. Wow. and. Um, that that may be this week. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. In Key Largo at Snook during the afternoon, there's a lot of stuff going on. It starts early. Uh, Snook Sweetwater Sundays at 12:30 to 4 o'clock. That is Patrick Knott and Pam Osterman and Big Bill Lissinger. Uh, they play from 12:30 to 4. Italian Food Company from 5 to 8. You'll find Brian Lamar. And uh, down, if you, if you want to go down a little further south, it's about halfway to Key West if you're driving down A1A Road. Yeah. Uh, Chef Rolf Tunas, that's down there at about mile marker 80, I believe, on the ocean side. You Tunas. You can find Paul Armstrong. Yes, Paul Armstrong plays and trio with Vivian and Dan. And uh, that goes from, I believe, uh, 12 to 4, something like that. And uh, taking us to Monday, we've got Alan Truesdale, our buddy at Jimmy Johnson's Big Chill. He plays over there from 5 to 9. Um, let's see, and taking us to Tuesday at Gilbert's, we have Scott Youngberg from 5 to 9. Sharky's Pub and Galley, Rob Garza from 7 to 10. Going down to Lorelei in Isla Morada, the uh, Lorelei Restaurant and Cabana Bar on the Bay Side. You have Dennis Holmes from 6 to 10. And, of course, our big event of the week, uh, the OB Jam Night with Taylor King Band and special guests. That runs from 7 to 11. Gosh, Shoeless, you're amazing. Really? 
that's about all I got. And I've done no research this week. I had other stuff I was going to do. Well, and, Mama well, was in town. The week, the week got away from me. Mama was in town. And, and when Mama's yeah. in town, nobody gets any rest. But uh, <laughs> she was and, uh, wonderful. Well, I've, been, I've, I've been preparing for this Oktoberfest, too. We're doing all kinds of German music and crazy stuff. And had to get my leader hosing together and... Uh, I'm really excited about doing that this weekend at Havana Jacks down there in Key Colony Beach. Well, tell me about the one you're doing with Tim Dressing here in a week or so um, um, next week. That's, 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 that's this week, uh, oh, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be from 5 to 9, and uh, it's, it's, it's going to be German music and all kinds of other fun stuff, uh, traditional German food, and that's right on the ocean at uh, Havana Jacks. Um, really excited to do that so to I'm gonna, be, gonna have my leader hosing on <laughs> so so playing with tim dressing was is like what it it's really interesting um <laughs> he's, he's unlike most of the musicians down here that are doing right you know a, a lot of the traditional cover stuff that you'd expect to hear at tiki bar right. southern rock um right. there's none can, of that he can he can he can pull up that stuff as well well but he can also do um i mean we're doing satin doll we're, we're doing we're doing some some jazz standards that you just don't hear out there too much and he plays the keyboards and plays the horn at the same time and it's it's a it's a really fun fun musical experience i'm very very pleased to be able to play with him i'm proud of you I'm proud of you. He is. A, he's probably has played or more, played more than most anybody in the Florida Keys. He's a conk, and um, he he's that guy that you hear in the corner of the room, and there he is over there. You know the background music. But in this case, he's coming out with shoeless in her leader hose. What <laughs> what is Tim wearing? <laughs> um, I, I I hear there's going to be suspenders, and hopefully he's going to get one of those cute little hats with feather in it. A cute Maybe hat you can borrow one from Billy Knight. <laughs> uh, I believe that could be arranged. And please get me some photographs. Uh, I would like to say that there is a place in the Keys that if you play jazz, you like jazz, you have a horn. Uh, oh, that's tonight. That's tonight at the Key Largo Moose. And uh, you don't have to do anything but come in. The drinks are inexpensive. The food's pretty good. I mean, it's bar food, man. It's 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 oh, a. I I want to talk a little bit about the moose in Key Largo. Um, Vicky Go. is back. Vicky, Vicky was not well for oh. a couple of weeks. Well, there, like we all have. That's where the food went. Down. <laughs> she is back. I I went yesterday and I had a uh, amazing cheese steak, Philly cheesesteak sandwich just to die yeah, for. She's something. Uh, I believe I believe there's meatballs there today, and uh, meatloaf tomorrow. She, she's uh, she, it, it's real home cooked food and it's so affordable and go in there and get that and you'd just be so satisfied jenny definitely, definitely stop in there jenny no shoes yes. or shoeless yes. or, or whatever i'm never going to get that right but uh you girl are appreciated by this station you are going to be traveling and what i wanted to talk to you about at the end of the show you're going to be traveling up to cape coral for the southwest florida parrothead clubs um I believe this may be 7th, 8th, or ninth annual pit stop party there in uh, Cape Coral at the Dolphin Key Resort. And um, when you see this tiki bar, you're going to go, this may be the largest tiki bar I've ever seen with a stage. Wow. Yes. It's, and it's going to be absolutely packed from the front of the stage to all the way back as far as you can see in the biggest tiki bar with feathers, uh, bills. That's a pecker, also. A bill is a pecker, you know. You know, the on a bird. I'm going to invite my drummer friend to come and bring his parrots with him. He has two parrots named Bernie and Higgins. Bernie Higgins? <laughs> yes. He has a parrot named. Oh, he has a parrot named Bernie and yes, one named Higgins. Yes, he has two parrots. God, I should be playing some yes. Bernie Higgins this morning. You know, Bernie had a little um, operation, and he's doing wonderful up there in uh, Tarpon Springs. His home in oh. Tarpon Springs, Florida. Birdie is the guy that coined the word trop rock. Yeah, it wow. was not Jimmy Buffett. It was Birdie Higgins. Yes. And uh, I am just proud to be associated with someone as good as that guy. Uh, and one of these days, one of these days, him and the Band of Pirates. By the way, that's the name of his band. What a great name for a band, huh? Birdie Higgins and the Band of Pirates. 
they are going to be coming one of these days. And you know what I want him to do? I want him to stand on the stage at the Caribbean Club. And I want him to sing Key Largo. It's that good. would be that would be like <laughs> super cool. He's the one that wrote the original Bogey and Bacall, you know, Key Largo. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Lord. It's on my set list for this weekend. <laughs> oh, you, do, do you send him money or? Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> you understand <laughs> that's up to your venue to, to have a license with ASCAP and BMI and for all of our musicians to be paid. So you venues, behave your damn selves. Start treating these musicians like they're human beings. Pay them what they're worth. And don't make them slip through slop through a back door and change in a mac in a bathroom. I uh, I am uh, uh, you and I are on a mission to improve the lot of the live musician in the Florida Keys. This is the live music report. We're going to start reporting on venues and pointing out. Oh, uh, they didn't you know they didn't they didn't provide water on the stage and it's summer. Well, I think you know, Harry. I think we should really um, point out and and encourage. The venues that are treating the musicians well, because there are definitely venues that are treating the musicians well, and um, just really spotlight on them and, and keep it positive. Huh. Um, you know, we're, we, <laughs> we, 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 we work we work really hard. I'll let you convince me. for you. And, well, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna seek out and find them. Maybe maybe they'll be our sponsor. You guys, Duh. They, they should be. They they should be if if. Um, the MRK, I believe, is, is treating their people real well, paying them well. There's a few venues out there that, that are right. putting the pay scale where it should be. Right. And uh, it, it takes a lot of money and time to be able to go out and do what we do. It does. We've got a couple of minutes to go. Uh, is there anything? Now, I know you can't be at the Ocean Dreams event because you run Jenny's Karaoke, the most popular karaoke. I will be, I will be stopping by. Oh, uh, early. beautiful. So I, actually, I will, I'm hoping to catch Jenny Lee's set. Uh, Jenny Lee is going to kick it off, and we're going to have a table there, and we're going to be cutting into it. We're not going to broadcast it live like a, a you know an event of a full live event music broadcast like we do most of our music festivals. We're going to be cutting do cut ins and invite people and let them know what's being given away. Give a chance for those people listening online to uh, text in and. Uh, contribute as well we've got a special text number that i can never remember <laughs> but i know it's oceans oceans like <laughs> yeah well yeah, uh, we're trying to uh this show is filled with uh, this could be a three-hour show but uh, they won't let me do those anymore but i would like to make an announcement about a show that once was three hours and now is i'm going to cut it to one hour i'm going to be featuring the trop 40 the top 40 oh. of tropical music every Sunday beginning, oh, I let it rip. I was just going to do it monthly, but I'm going to probably do it every Sunday at noon for an hour. And I will just go over and list and, and feature and post all the ones that made it from one through, excuse me, from 30 to down to number 11. And then the top 10 and I, we're going to visit together for about an hour. It's going to be really cool. And uh, I'm looking for I think someone. The A1A listeners are looking forward to seeing uh, that come back. And 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 guess who's coming back for weekdays with uh, Wilson? Lyle Wilson's Wilson? coming. He's coming back to his own show. <laughs> and his logo is a as a a volleyball with that Wilson from Castaway. That's his logo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lyle Sorry, is a you. special. Uh, he's a special talent. Um. Uh, I'm not going to go any further than that. He's a special talent. Tune in every weekday morning from 8 p.m. until 11, maybe even 11.30. Uh, I don't know if he knows when to stop. And you will hear Weekdays with Wilson. Yes, the award-nominated show that we created on Radio A1A, and he features live a live interview every morning. And he features the newest of music introduced in the tropical Americana world. Tropical Americana music by only independent singer-songwriters. Isn't that wonderful? Very cool. That's what Radio A1A is all about. And uh, that's uh, Cruising Country is all about uh, the independent singer-songwriter in the cruising country world. 
Keezy FM is about just good music, but there is a tremendous amount of local independent singer-songwriters. We sl- that's where we slip the locals in. And if you want to, you know, if you miss church on Sunday, tu- tune in to Paradise Road Radio. We don't have any church services. We're not banging Bibles. It's simply in- inspirational music without a, a lot of interruption. So, Jenny, we have about a... Mm, we have no time left. Oh my! <laughs> For something that little hold on. that pesky little bum beneath the damn panty line there. Did you get down on the nude beach? We so, must pay for the bills. If your thong pay the bills. is doing you wrong, red snapper sad. Yes, red snapper sad. Hi, I'm Larry Brown. I play the part of Larry Brown in the Rusty McHugh Show. And I've been using Red Snapper Sad now for two and a half weeks. It has tightened my buttocks and my midriff. I could not be happier. And we have a letter here from a lady out of uh, Sydney, Australia. Miss Sarah Hawkins says it's killing her ticks and fleas. And we're just excited. Now, we've known for a long time that it'll restore an automobile finish to its original luster. So for all of your ointment needs and and more... It's Red Snapper Sad. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. And also, I'd like to say congratulations to Aubrey Wallet for being our Artist of the Month and featured on Cruising Country Radio. Stay tuned for more. This has been the Live Music Report from the Florida Keys. Goodbye, Jenny. Later. Thank you.